Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome. That's where you found the first thumbnail, but welcome to episode two of my Minecraft 1.18 chill hardcore survival let's play. So uh, we're back exactly where we were last time. If you missed the last episode, I highly encourage you to go check it out. We did find this buried treasure, which means we can throw the treasure trust uh, map away. And we have quite a bit of stuff. Um, uh, we haven't found a home yet, exactly. <laughs> to put it like, oh gosh, there's a forest fire. Uh, to put it ki kindly, we have not done a whole lot of stuff, but this is more of a relaxed let's play. We're not forcing anything out. We're not trying to do anything super quickly or anything like that. I'd love to help you, uh, Smokey the Bear, but I can't exactly help you. I don't have a bucket. I don't have any... What just happened? Oh, I guess it went into its hive. I don't really have anything. Um, so we're going to fix that this episode. I'm planning on hopefully finding a place to settle and uh, in that area, building somewhat of a starter base. We're not going to build anything too crazy, anything too incredible, uh, but definitely build something that looks nice and homey. Uh, we're probably going to go into this little area for tonight because it's dark and uh, I don't want to be out here with the creepy crawlies. So let's build something that we can call a temporary domicile. Um, because we're not building anything, uh, we're not building anything for sure right now, but we do have a little bit of wood, which we can probably use for, you know, totally useful things like fence, <laughs> which we totally need, but hey, it'll help this place be a little bit more protected, at least during the dark hours, so let's go over here, and, uh, just put a little bit of a fence down, I don't know how useful this will be, um, but at least it'll help us, that's all we need, at least it'll help us a little bit, but we can't really leave unless we build a fence gate, so maybe we should, uh, Maybe we should do that. That way we can enter and exit this little area. Now, maybe we'll come back here in like 20 or 30 episodes and be like, wow, Neo started out with just a little tiny base. And now, look, he lives in a in a pretty relatively small base. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, Sure. We'll just build. I don't have enough wood to do this. <laughs> it's it's going to look like I changed wood types halfway through the build, which is okay. That's, uh, that's what I'm going to go for. So we're going to... It's getting dark rapidly. I'm saying that because we only have this oak wood right here, which we're using these materials very intelligently. This is exactly what you should use your materials for, is uh, temporary shelters. There you go. I guess we could sprinkle. Maybe it looks like that wood got wet or something. But now we have somewhere to at least call home for a little bit. I'm going to dig this out a little bit and uh, just get a bunch of stone. So don't mind me. I'm not going to show too much of this. Like I said, we're going to be filming more this Let's Play, but I'm going to try not to film the super boring stuff. Uh, like this like mining stone so give me a little bit and I'll come back and we'll see uh, how much progress we've made you want to know why I'm silly because <laughs> I completely forgot that we have this magical thing to skip the night called the bed so let's do that because I don't want to I don't want to sit here right like I don't want to sit here and wait for it to become day when we could just sleep but it was fun to build a little shelter uh, but I think it's time we move on guys probably need to get a little bit of wood first so that's what I'm gonna do now because we have absolutely no wood uh, we good thing you know we have a lot of cobblestone we have a diamond but we have no wood so let's remedy that and grab a little bit here all right that should be more than enough wood um, yeah, 26 logs is definitely enough. And there's our temp, <laughs> our temporary housing. So let's find an area in the world, like I said last episode, that speaks to us. Now, I don't know what that means, but I feel like I need to sail the ocean blue. I don't know if it's a song I heard when I was a kid, but there was something about something, something, sailing the ocean blue. So we're going to go do that. I think it was actually something to do with Christopher Columbus, who was actually a terrible man. And, uh, for some reason we were taught that he was a great man, a great explorer. And then, and then I learned the truth when I got older and, you know, could think for myself. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't trust Christopher Columbus, dude. Um, one thing I can do, which would be smart, would be to probably make these into bars. Yeah, because then we don't need this. We don't really need 10 or that. So I'm going to throw some things away. Controversial, I know, but I really do want to sail this nice blue ocean and see if we can find anything cool. Um, I see this over here, which looks interesting. It does have a lot of coal. Actually, that's, yeah, we're going to go get that. We need that. I think we have four coal in total, so not too much. Nice little grassy island out there. Uh, but yeah, this shader pack, like I said, link is in the description for it. It's a very basic shader pack. It doesn't really change a whole lot. It makes things look nice and vanilla, but with a little bit of some better shadows, and that's pretty much it. So I know that, you know, one third of you in my poll did not want shaders, but the other two thirds did. So I decided to please both sides and use the most minimalistic shaders I can. So I will say this. Um, actually, no. We're not into the video far enough. I was going to ask you to subscribe. 
which I guess I just inadvertently did by saying I wasn't going to do it, but I'll do that later. I'll, I'll do my whole um, suggestion thing. Oh, look at those red flowers. That looks beautiful. I like this area. I don't want to live here, but I do like this area. I'm getting some good vibes from it. Like I said, I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not gonna mine iron yet because then I'll just, I, I won't stop. And uh, surprisingly, we have a full set of armor, albeit a little bit mismatched. We still have it. And uh, I, I feel safe, you know, somewhat. Now, we don't have a renewable source of food, which, like I said, we got to knock that out somewhat soon. Um, our food reserves are, you know, actually pretty healthy. I think we could sustain for quite a while. But I'd rather not have to worry about, you know, where my next meal is going to come from when I could live off the land and plant these seeds we got last episode. We got 47 wheat seeds. So we can plant those wherever. Uh, I'm going to mine the rest of this coal pocket out. Give me a second. Okay, back to sailing the ocean blue. I want to see what's on the other side of this ocean. Um, oh, okay, actually there might be some loot in there that we can get. It actually looks really cool. I actually really dig that. Can I, can I get a screenshot of that, perhaps? Is that, is that something screenshotable? No, not, n not particularly. It doesn't actually look very good. Okay, we'll, we'll take one, but it's not going to be used for anything. Maybe it'll be my new, my new desktop background. Uh, but with this shader pack, the, the, the water looks really good, nice and clear. It's not like super obstructive like default water is. Glistening melon, I gotta say, and that's another ingot, so I will take that. Uh, we don't have our potion of water breathing anymore, which we did have. Just a second. Oh, the magma makes that noise. I was like, what in the world is that noise? That does not sound good. Uh, but alas, it's okay. It's just, uh, just some bubbles being bubbles. Was there anything else in here I wanted? Obsidian, I'm I'm gonna have to pass. I mean, honestly, I don't know what what the heck is what is a noob like me gonna do with obsidian. So, I'm gonna run in the ocean. Um, I won't even really time lapse it because there's probably not a whole lot gonna happen. But the second I see land, you will see it as well. Okay, I see land, but I don't know if that's an island. Does that count? I mean, it's it's very tiny, or maybe it's not. Maybe maybe that is maybe that is the motherland. Is it? I don't know. I don't have a huge render distance on, so I can't tell. But let's run over there. I wouldn't mind living on an island, actually, if it's a decent, healthily sized island. No, it looks like that looks like the same land mass is over there. It's probably connected. Okay, let's keep going this way. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this series. So, like I said in the first episode, it's going to be you know there's more footage. You know, I'm filming more things. Okay, that's not. Oh wow, that's not. That is not. Whoa, there's a dolphin jumped at the perfect time. Oh, yeah, dude, the vibes are right. The vibes are hitting, dude. Vibes are hitting. The vibes are hitting. I, that is just... That is just a wondrous... That is a wondrous sight. That is uh, that is something I don't think I'll ever see again. The dolphin jumping at just the perfect time. What I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted by this giant spire of stone is that I wanted to film more. But I feel like Minecraft Let's Plays, at least how they used to be, is they were much more involved... And I feel like what today's content is, is just like, you know, the short form videos have kind of taken over and now everyone has to have this fast paced content where everything happens instantly. You get enchanted armor in the first episode and you don't get to see the journey. And I feel like, you know, along with everything, the journey is most of the fun, at least for me. And yes, I do see that azalea tree over there. It means there might be a little bit of lush over there. Why is there wood? Hold on. What is this? But first of all, we're going to look at this because this just looks cool as heck. But yeah, this series is going to be a lot more slow paced. So if that's not what you want to see, then I would just not. I would stop watching this series because you're going to get to see a lot. A lot more than you would with most YouTubers. I'm not talking bad on them. It's just my content. I want, to, I want it to be a little different. A little bit different. Um, I tried the fast paced stuff and it burned me out. So I'm not going to do that again. So I don't know if the ship is filled with sand, which I mean, obviously it is filled with sand. We just found that out. Um, but it seems to be... <laughs> It seems to be wrecked in a very odd spot. Um, this doesn't really seem like a... You know what I mean? This does not seem like, like your regular shipwreck. Because it's not it's not touching any water. <laughs> I guess I guess technically is this is this considered a beach? Yeah, this says Minecraft Beach. So this is technically one. Um, again, I don't know where the loot is in these things. I always lose it. And uh, we gotta dig our... <laughs> we gotta dig for our loot this time. That is a lot of iron. See, I've just been exploring the world, like living off the land, literally, and like, yeah, I know I could get one ingot, but I'm not going to get it. I don't need the gold, and I really don't need the lapis. Um, but I don't even think this is the captain's quarters. There, I know there's another part of the ship. 
Um, and maybe this was the captain's quarters? I don't know, but I know that there's more to this thing, so I'm gonna dig around in here, and we're gonna find that other chest. Because I know it's in here. But, like, how deep... How deep do these ships even go? How do I, how do I know where to find it? <laughs> oh, okay, there it is. Okay. And it's another buried treasure map, so maybe... Maybe we'll go find another buried treasure map. I don't know. Last one took quite a while to find. Oh, we're, we're already loaded into the map and it's already on here. So we're going to go ahead and definitely find that one. Um, I'm not sure why I have so many of these slabs. Oh, yeah, because I built that temporary house. It looks like it is about to be dark. Hmm. Should we should we try to risk it? Should we risk it for the biscuit? Probably. Yeah, it's like literally right here. So we know the trick is you have to be at that 9-9 nine, nine number. So we're on it. It's got to be nine, and then I think to the left. Nope, back. Nope, forward. Okay. I know you're probably like, what are you talking about? It'll be right here. Should be right here. Hopefully. There we go. Cool. Dude, we have so much iron. Oh, we have so many emeralds. We need to go trade, dude. We need to go trade. Uh, what can I throw away? I don't need stairs. Uh, Heart of the Sea, can these stack? They do stack. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we haven't built a house. We've made quite a bit of progress. Like, first of all, um, I'm going to go ahead and make some armor to reward ourselves here. Um, we need to make some pants. And then it looks like some boots. But look at that, dude. Like, that's actually pretty incredible that, uh, <laughs> you know, we haven't really mined at all. But we already have all this stuff just from, like, looting. We're living off the land, literally. And is that... That's a fish. Okay. So I am going to sleep through the night. I say we go and sleep in this abandoned ship. I feel like that's uh, only necessary after uh, digging it out. All the effort that went into that, you know, so hard. It was just, you know, the hardest thing I've done all year. Okay, there's nowhere to put the bed. You know what? Yeah, we'll just sleep. Yeah, we'll just... Yeah, we're just going to throw it down right there. Look at all those achievements, dude. Look at that stone age. Woohoo! Nice. I want to go see that area again. You guys know what I'm talking about? The big stone spire. I want to see what that's about because that is like one of the craziest looking Minecraft generation things I have seen in a long while. And uh, I will say the vibe was right. When I when I came upon this area and uh, I was greeted by a dolphin flying through the, 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 the I'm not a poetic person, just flying through the air. I was going to say like flying through the, the floaty, I don't know. I don't know. There's some people that could just make this stuff off off the off the fly, and I, I can't or, or make it up on the fly. I can't do it. They're like floating through the luscious air with tender feelings of longingness for home. I don't know. <laughs> oh, so what what is this even considered? Sparse jungle. Okay, and what is this considered? Swept savanna. Yeah, that's swept. All right. That is quite the structure. I kind of want to live on top of it. I don't know how that would work, though. I feel like that would be a death sentence to have a bunch of ladders going up there. Uh, I just... Do we want to live on the tip of a spire? That is that is the question. Well, it's worth it at least to get up there. Let's at least get up there and then figure it out from there, okay? We're going <laughs> to... This is... This is this is going to be a sketchy thing. I'm just going to tell you right now. This is going to be one of the sketchiest things that you've ever seen in hardcore Minecraft. But we're, we're going to make it happen. Because you got to keep in mind, we don't have anything. Okay? I mean, we have like some, some iron armor, but we, 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 we don't have anything. You know, we, we, we can't lie to ourselves and say, you know, we're set up for this. Because we're not. But therein lies the fun. <laughs> okay. So, we got to find a way... I don't even know, like, how do we, <laughs> like, how do we, how do we get over there? And, like, I, I don't know, but we're going to make some sort of path here. Yep, sure. So, we're going to, I can actually hit those blocks. Okay. Okay, so we're going to, sure. Yep, this, this, yep. And then we're going to go over here. Yeah. Okay. You know, this works, um, but I should probably get onto the path. That way I can, you know, actually use the path. Can I jump to that? Yep. Jump to... Okay. Okay. I'm not a parkour man. I'm not a parkour man. It would be interesting to live on that. That's all I got to say. And I... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. There we go. I just wanted to jump up there so I could break this. So, yeah. I'm going to build this little path over to this spire. 
and then we'll work from there. I guess I can't go down if I'm up here. That was why I didn't go up here. Okay, one second. Hold on. Let me build this. Okay, well, it, it, she ain't pretty, but it works, which is fine. It's all good. We're not about the vanity with this. I just want to explore the top of this thing to say that I've gone to the tippity top of the swept savannah. Whatever that means, I must accomplish it because I said I had to, and now I feel like I, I legitimately have to. And uh, we're going to do the parkour again. If I can actually do it, there we go. And uh, we're going to take our needlessly long path. Now, I don't know why I chose to put the path up here, because how do you get up to here? I don't know, but we'll figure it out. If we choose this to be our home, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not like for sure set on this, but I really want to get up here. So let's uh, let's just start this ladder. Okay, this is going to be a sketchy uh, a sketchy thing. Put it, put it lightly. This is a sketchy thing. So I want to... Okay, we're going to freeze on the ladder. We're going to put this here, and then we're going to continue <laughs> the ladder upwards. Now, okay, that's a problem. Maybe go over to there. So we need to drill this two blocks up. I'm trying to do this without, like, changing this path too much. Yeah, and then... Eh, how many blocks are there? Just two? Okay. Oh, there's three. <laughs> what on earth am I doing? Why am I going up? <gasps> yeah, if I would have fell there, it'd be the end of the world. So we can't fall. That's that's the other thing. Like, if we fall, we die. I mean, obviously, that's how, you know, most things work. You know, in real life, if you fall, usually you die. If, especially if you're falling from a very high height. So we just have to... We have to recognize that this is... Uh, this is this is real. This is Minecraft. This is Rocket League. Okay. Okay. And then just, just, to, the, just to the top here. Well, I gotta say, first of all, can I see my shadow from up here? No, my shadow's right there. I gotta say, I am very high up in the world. I wanted to render it out further. Now, this is gonna cause it to be, you know, choppy for a second with the lag. But let's just explore this for a second and just look at this. So, I'm gonna let it load for a second. And then I'll come back, because it's gonna take a while for it to load all these chunks. But, dude, this is, uh... This is something. <laughs> this is something for sure. Let me Let me load some chunks. All right, well, we've definitely loaded enough chunks to at least get a look around. Now, I haven't looked this way, so we won't look that way. I saw, okay, that was just some trees over there. Okay, might be some lag spikes, but over here, I see there's a jungle temple. Um, this is very tempting to jump into. I'll just, I'll, 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 it's very tempting. Now, living on top of this thing, I'm not, <laughs> okay. Okay, we don't need to deal with you. I don't know if that's gonna be viable. Um, it would protect you from mobs, and I got I gotta turn the render distance back down. It would it would protect you from mobs for sure. Um, but that's not all you gotta worry about. Uh, what about protecting you from falling to your death? That's one thing that I'd like to be protected from, and I'm not sure this provides that. It would be a nice, it would be a nice change of house, but I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know if it's worth it. Let, let, <laughs> let's go look at it again from the backside, because I want to see what this ridiculous ladder scaffolding thing looks like. We don't even, we're not even using scaffolding, which maybe would be more fitting, but like if it's an adventure to get to your house every time, it's not always a good thing, <laughs> because what if you're running back, right, and you don't want to die, you're in hardcore, you know, you're, you're going hard and you don't want to die. Look at that. There is a uh, there is a lush biome underground. I keep forgetting we're in the claves claves. Yeah, we're in the claves update. Uh, so there's tons of cool stuff, and I keep forgetting that. So we could go underground and explore a little bit. We we will, but we'll probably do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, you know, it's uh, yeah. The, well, you know, you well, sound like Boomhauer, but you know, it, it's uh, maybe not what I envisioned. Let's let let's just go up here one more time, <laughs> just to just to experience it again. So we go up the rickety ladder to our beautifully supported. You know, maybe what we should do is this even. Uh, no, this is on the top. Never mind. That's on the top half of the block. And then you go over to here. Wow, that's sketchy. It's just it's sketchy all around. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, because you can't like. I guess you can kind of glide over. And then you gotta jump. 
I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, because I feel like if I built a house up here, the chance of me falling and dying while building the house is very high. So while I like this area and I had fun, we're, we're not going to live there. We're just, we're just not going to do it. We're going to make the sketchy jump back down. We'll call that an adventure, and uh, that's all it needs to be. Well, what is this over here? I see the creeper. I know it could fall on me. I didn't see that creeper. Okay. Okay. And uh, apparently my render distance is still so high that it's lagging. So we'll put it on 12. Hello, cows. Oh, that's not a cow. See, so, yeah, I think I think the, the caves and cliffs... Okay, that's a skeleton. That's a creeper. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dive in the water. No, there's another one. I don't know what to do. I really, I really, okay, we're gonna run, we're gonna run, we're gonna run, we're gonna run. How do we get in this situation in the middle of the day? <laughs> it's like literally the middle of the day, we're getting, we're getting mobbed by mobs in the middle of the day, that's not good. Okay, vibes have been killed, we're not gonna live in this area. So I'm gonna explore for a while because, you know, obviously this first episode was literally just me running around and I don't want the second episode to be the exact same thing. So, like I said, a chill series that I'll film more, but, you know, that sometimes means having to cut some stuff, like running around until you find an area. So I promise when I see something that I know will be home or I see something cool, I will come back, I will show you it. I know there's that temple over there, but I'm really not that interested. We have so much loot. We need to find a place to set our roots, so I will come back when I've found a cool location. See you then. All right, now I haven't been traveling too far, but I did come across these in the swamp. As you guys know, the blue orchid is my signature flower. Um, even on my merch, which I do have merch, uh, link is in the description. I try not to push it too hard because I know some people are all about that merch life, but uh, I do have a hand-drawn blue orchid on some of my merch that you can purchase, and uh, it's beautiful. It's done by a famous local artist. That I went to high school with, and she does some amazing drawings. And uh, yeah, I had her commission a little blue orchid for my merchandise, and uh, that's what the design that I usually wear. It's like a, it's it's a blue orchid in a pot. That's what it is. But yeah, that's my signature flower. I used to put one in every single tutorial uh, house that I did, and that was kind of like you know my artist signature or something like that. Because to show that I designed it, I put a blue orchid in a pot in there. And wow. I'm glad we weren't standing there when that happened. So again, I'm gonna keep traveling until I find something cool. That looks interesting, for sure. Maybe that would be the spire we need. Is that is if this is an island, I will. Okay, that's the wrong button. If this is an island, I will consider living here only because of that waterfall, and and the fact that. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of iron there too. Is this shattered savanna? I don't know what it is. If this is an island, we're living here. That's all I got to say. Let's let's let, let's confirm the islandness first. And then we'll confirm if we're living here or not. Because if it's connected, I don't want to live here. I want. I, I'm okay. There's cows up there. That's sketchy, dude. That's a little bit sketchy. Okay, it's looking more and more like an island. And the front has two twin waterfalls. And there's like a cool cave area. Is there dolphins? No dolphins, but that's okay. Please don't be connected. Please don't be connected. Please don't be connected. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I'm happy with this. I'm not settling. I really am. I love this. This is sick. So we're going to live here. So let me figure out a good area for us to like, you know, actually settle down. I'm trying to think, you know, do I want to live on, you know, the front side, the back side? I don't know which. I do hear a dolphin now. Where are you, buddy? Yes. Hello, good friend. I'll throw you some, some pork. Do you like pork? There you go. I know they like cod. Do you want some cod? Here, come here. Come here, take take some fish. He's playing with the pork. You're supposed to eat it, silly. Yeah, come take this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you like that? Now he's gonna show me something cool, I think. That's okay. I don't need to see anything cool. I'm trying to build. What is that? Is this more? Hmm. What's this one look like? Oh, it has an extrusion at the top. So it would be somewhat difficult to live on an island uh, just because you know, you know you're kind of disconnected. But I do like how islands look, and that looks just absolutely amazing. But I don't know, you know, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not totally dead set. But I'm gonna definitely keep that in mind. I'm gonna save these coordinates, and I'm gonna keep exploring, like I said. Okay, well, I'm following my heart. I decided against the island. This is gonna be a longer episode because we're trying to establish our home, and I don't want to cut it at 30 minutes because then all we did was explore, which is fine, right? Like, this is not like a pressured series where I have to have, you know, 
like, you know, I have to do this in the episode or it's not good. I'm not going to do that to myself. We're just going to, not that I'm going to, you know, be boring the whole time, but you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm following my heart, which is telling me to go in this river and uh, we might find something we want to live in. Because, you know, I'm not opposed to living in the jungle or in like a nice tree house or something like that. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not opposed. I'm more so just trying to find something that I can get some inspiration from. Which maybe that takes a while sometimes and that's okay. Um, we're just, uh, we're treating ourselves. We're treating ourselves after a pressured hardcore series, which the one before this, if you want to go watch it, is more of that style where I do a bunch of big stuff very often. Um, oh yeah, we're kind of back to where the uh, birch biome is. I like this. And I do like the water. Hmm. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to come back when I find something that speaks to me. Well, still haven't found the spot, but I did find something pretty cool. Oh, I didn't see those guys either. I'm glad they didn't attack me. I was just, you know, I found this little thing. And I looked down and it's like, dude, <laughs> that goes, uh, that goes fairly deep into the ground here. It's a nice little, uh, I don't think I'd live here. It's a little creepy looking, a little ominous for sure, but it's just right here plopped in the middle of a jungle biome. And I guess a little, uh, a little portion of this decided to sink in and, uh, wow. The new noise map generator that, that the, you know, the generation uses is incredible because stuff like that happens and like that's just cool looking. That reminds me of the old days, right? Okay, got to come back for this because potential for pandas is very high. Um, this jungle has been huge. I've been in this jungle for probably the most out of every biome now. I've been exploring maybe like 30 minutes. Hunger doesn't go down in the boat, which is super nice. That's why I'm trying to use those rivers as much as I can. But we really got to find some pandas, but I guess we also got to have some bamboo to feed them. Which you collect very fast, very fastly. You collect it very fast. I don't think fastly is a word. Okay, you sheep, you lo almost look like pandas. I know pandas are somewhat rare, um, but I figure, you know, since we're in a, uh, a bamboo forest, we might as well come back, try to find a panda, and see if we can't get a flip out of the panda. Because that is one of the most incredible... Okay, this little opening in the jungle here. And there's a lush thing here. Let me cut, let me cut a tree down. Let me cut a tree down real quick. Hold on, guys. I'm getting something. I'm get. I'm getting something. Oh, yeah, I'm getting something. Let me cut this tree down real quick. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So I haven't explained anything. But trust me, something's happening here. Something is happening here. Uh, I gotta throw away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gold Sword. You're you're so great, but I don't, I don't, I don't need you, Gold Sword. I don't need that. Um, I'll keep those fences, but I don't need one stick. I got more important things here. Okay, back to this opening because I saw this and like my brain started going wild. I was like, I can do a lot of things with this. Like uh, I could do a lot of things with this little opening right here, and I really like this. And then I see this big tall tree. This big, tall, commanding tree, dare I say, commanding. So maybe a tree house? I don't know. Let's get to the top of the tree first. I don't have any vines. Oh, it's raining too. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I guess I can collect some vines just to make our journey upwards a little bit easier. Improve our verticality here. And we do have a chest, so we could probably, hold on. Let's do this. Let's clear ourselves of all these things just for a moment here. Just for a moment. Okay, that's already too big. We just, oh, nope, we already made the shears. So let me gather some, some, uh, unsuspecting vines here. Because first of all, I know there's lush below us, which I like being in lush caves. I don't want to live in one like we did last time, but I do like lush caves. But then I see this tree and like, people are always like, yeah, you need to live in a tree house. And I'm like, yeah, 
I could, but I never do. I don't know why. It's not because I don't like tree houses, but I just never end up living in one. So maybe we can. Let's just go up here and find out. This isn't a for sure thing. I don't want to get. Don't get your hopes up yet. Let's just go up here real quick and let's actually take a take a little peek. Let's take a little peek. A little a, a, a little peekaboo. See what we're dealing with. Let's take out those. Okay. Okay. Now, obviously, since it's, you know, rainy and dreary, it doesn't look too good. Um, oh, that one's even taller. Cool. We could connect these. It's over there. Portal. Yep, portal. And uh, I think a fire, actually. Is that a fire? No, those are magma blocks. Okay. I do. There's a tree right there we can connect to. We can connect to that one. We could have, like, a whole string of tree houses here. That one's even taller. Maybe we could make a big path over to there. I don't know. I'm just getting... I'm, I'm getting these good vibes from this. And, like, you know, usually... You know, I'll see something and I'm like, yeah, you know, that's okay. But I'm looking at this and I'm like, yeah, that's really okay. I really like that. And uh, I don't know about you guys, uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the feeling. I'm going to run with it. So I'm not necessarily going to build the entire house right now, but I do want to build a little bit of it. So let's just start. Now, I don't remember how to build tree houses. Like, I'll be honest with you. I never was the best at building tree houses. Um, but I have somewhat of an idea of what I want to do. I just need to make sure I do this right. And is that water always there? Why is that water, like, waving? Oh, I guess because water has a wave to it. Water, you look weird from a distance. I'm going to tell you right now, dude. You just look weird. I know. I know. I'm being indecisive. I No. We're not, we're not going to live in the jungle. And I'll give you three reasons. I don't want to. <laughs> That's the reason. I know it's a crappy reason. I don't. I keep thinking about how much I love the jungle, and then I realize how much you have to clear to do things. So we're going to take the best of what we have in here. I really am legitimately going to cut it until I find where I want to live, because this is getting ridiculous. I agree. I am angry. I am just as angry as you are at myself. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in a bit. And before we leave the jungle... I don't want. I don't want to leave it w with the bad vibes. I know I said I'd come back, but I saw this parrot. And I was like, "Buddy, you need to be my friend because you have a yellow head. And you look pretty cool." Dude, how many seeds did that took? Like twenty seeds. Yes, best friends forever. Hello, buddy. I I hope you're having a great day. Yes, I have a parrot friend. I am now parroted up, as they say. Somewhere, I'm sure. Look at that. Look at that. Me me and me and me and Parrot bro. We're gonna call him Yep, we're gonna call him Whack. Whack! We're gonna call him Whack. That's his name. The parrot's name is Whack. <laughs> and I don't know why, but that's that's gonna be the parrot's name. Okay, now to find where I wanna live, because now I have a piece of the jungle always with me. Me and him are sailing on an adventure. You have to clarify the name. It's Whack, as in the bottom left corner, not Whack. Got it? Got it. Guys, I know it's a bad idea, but should we, uh, should we try to, should we try to do that? I found a pillager outpost. Man, I've been looking for like 30 minutes, and, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit discouraging. We're on episode two, and I can't seem to find my place in the world. But that's okay, because, you know, the world's pretty much infinite. You know, out to like 30 million by, you know, it's like 30 million by 30 million blocks, so basically infinite. Um, I did find this hill, and, uh, oh, that's actually pretty cool. It's actually really cool. It's like a like some sort of like fairy portal or something. Look at that. Um, I wanted to go up here because I have a feeling about this. If it's a caldera, I'd love to live here, but I don't know if it is a caldera. So a caldera is like it's like a mountain, but in the middle, it, it basically basically I think of like a volcano, right? Except the hole in the middle is bigger. That's a caldera, basically, as a landmass that I can describe. One of the only few I can recognize in the terrain generator. Let's see. Is this a caldera? Or caldera, whatever you want to call it. So basically, it'll be like a round mountain with a hole in the middle. Uh, nope. We are on a, uh, what is this called? A meadow. Which, oh, this is a beautiful biome. It's not what I was looking for, but it's beautiful nonetheless, and that's okay. How high up are we? <laughs> Why 124? Wow. Yeah, the height is just, it still bugs me out, or wigs me out sometimes. I think about, like, wow, I'm at level 128, and I'm uh, just walking around on something that doesn't really seem like a mountain. It's uh, very interesting. Oh, and there's a nice little, okay, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna take that wheat. Um, I don't mean to be a pillager, literally. Uh, but I am going to pillage these resources because, yeah, I was thinking, you know, should we make an iron hoe? And probably, we probably should move on from stone tools. 
So again, like I said, I'm going to try to shoot for about 30 minutes an episode. I think once we find the area, we'll build a little temporary shelter and then we'll spend next episode actually building it out. Where is this village? Where is, where is this village? Oh gosh. Oh man. Well, I'm not, I'm not upset about stealing those resources then because I'm not quite sure how the, oh, I missed one. I'm not quite sure how they'd ever get up here. Like how, how could they get up here? I don't think they really can. Uh, looks like you guys did not plan this out very well, did you? Building it and they're like, guys, I think this might be too steep of a path. Nah, bro, just go ahead and build it, dude. You can just imagine it. Some some skaters, some skater people, something like that. You know what I mean? Saying it without saying it, like, bro, let's just go up the mountain, dude. That works. In some cases, this uh, this this portal, which I don't see the portal. This one's like messed up. Yeah, you guys might want to fix your uh, fix your village here. It's very very scattered. Let's look at it from this angle. Uh, once we get over there, <laughs> you can't even see the path up. I, I hope I, I'm just glad there's not a house up there because sometimes villagers you know like it'll generate and then the villagers will literally get stuck up there and they're like you know that's their entire life is stuck on a hill that they can't get down now, wouldn't that be terrible let's turn around and look at the beauty you can't even see the path I mean you kind of can right there right like you, you see it right right there but yeah even that is messed up okay well I'm, I'm getting out of here what is that that looks cool I know, I keep saying I'll come back when I find it. But I find all this cool stuff, and I feel like I have to show you. I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't show you the cools. The coolest stuff I find. That's beautiful. Not what I'm looking for, though. That looks nice. It looks like a looks like nature valley or something. You know, I just came to this realization. I was I was sitting here, hopping amongst the bunnies, and I'm like, Oh, well, these are so cute. And I'm like, oh, yeah, my bird's so cute. Where's Whack? Where's Whack? Where is he? I don't see Whack. I don't know where he went. We've we've already lost our first pet, and we haven't even done anything. I haven't. I haven't. Why would? What is that? Oh, those are sheep. Why would Whack be gone if I haven't like? It's a tall birch tree. Jeez. Yeah, but why is Whack gone? I haven't like. He, doesn't he follow me? Like I haven't like moved too quickly. I thought he would you know follow me like a like a puppy does. I guess not. We have lost Whack. Rest in peace, Whack. Can we, can, Guys, can we put it in the comments? Rest in peace, whack. And I will say this now. I'm going to keep running. And I, I really will find the place in this episode. Whoa. whoa, whoa. What was that? That looks too square for me. Uh, but yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind consider subscribing, I really would appreciate it. Again, you don't have to do anything. But I really would appreciate it if you would subscribe. But if you don't, that's also okay. I just want to make sure and put that out there so you're thinking about it. Uh, because, you know, it's always nice. I'm trying to reach a million subscribers, too, this year. 2022 I want it to be the year I reach 1 million that would be honestly a huge milestone in my life um, the fact that I do this for a job still amazes me but you know I, I just guys I just thank you so much for everything like I, I really like like genuinely from the bottom of my heart thank you guys for watching me I mean it's it's made my life a lot better um, than I could have ever hoped to it be to it have it been and uh, just know that I appreciate you and what in the heck is this <laughs> just like just like what what is this these horses are drinking from it maybe it's magic water it's just oddly square and it's like coming off of this it's almost like a elephant like a snoot you know their big old snoot what in the heck is this one of the more strange things I've seen in 1.18 uh, it looks like we've reached another ocean which we're gonna keep traveling if you want to look at the coordinates here we're at negative 2,000 negative 4,000 we've traveled about 6,000 blocks guys I'm dedicated to finding this area and I'm you can you can bet your booty I'm gonna find it this episode I promise you know guys I swam across this thing and then I saw what I wanted to see remember the first thing I said in this series I really want to live in an ice spike biome I've never lived in an ice spike biome and you know what appeared before my eyes an ice spike biome so you may be saying Neo, well that doesn't mean necessarily you're gonna live there right yes I'm gonna why is that tree blue <laughs> okay and it's odd you know that there's ice spikes right next to the plains biome I'm not gonna question it and yeah I see that but loot there isn't too good this is also oddly square something seems magical about this area and I can't put my finger on it I don't know what it is but it feels magical first of all we have a village here which is always good for trading 
and uh, you know, stealing maybe a few things like some coal. I will take that, and some bread. I will also take that. Beetroot soup. You know what? I don't mind if I do. I'm sorry to steal this from you, but that sounds absolutely delicious right now. Very delicious. Thank you so much for the the beetroot beetroot. I can't even say it. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I want to live in an ice spike biome. So I'm gonna try to find more ice spikes. I don't know where they went. Um, I saw those right there, but that's an oddly tiny ice spike biome. I'd rather be surrounded by them. Um, and then there were some, I think, in this direction, or was that... No, that was just an igloo in the, the icy village. Nope, that was an ice spike. Just two random ice spikes. They seem oddly... Oddly close to the plains biome. I'm not sure how that happened, but that is very interesting. Um, so I think if I travel in this direction, we'll surely we'll encounter some more ice spike biomes, right? Like, I mean, surely... Is there a house up there? Wait a second. This path leads directly to that cave. You know, if I was in any other game other than Minecraft, I would say that's a sign. And I, I'm going to treat it like a sign because it does seem oddly signish. You know what I mean? Like, you should, you should travel this untraveled path and see what's in the cave in there because this, it literally leads right to the cave. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay. Well, this will be our first little cave exploration. Um, our foray into cave exploration. Is this, is this it? This is it. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. And the, the magical, mystical skeleton of doom caveness is dead. Okay. Well, we solved the village's mystery of the, the missing old man. He turned into a skeleton and uh, was, was waiting to be released from his bone body to uh, a Valhalla, as they say. Okay, well, that was a fun little quest, a little fun little side quest. Let's go over here, let's find the ice spike biome. What is that? That looks like a prison. Wait, is this the blacksmith? No, it's the grinder smith? No, this is the blacksmith, isn't it? It is, okay. I will take that, and I will take that. That's actually perfect. Um, and I am gonna put my used, I am gonna put my used equipment in here. I feel kind of guilty, but at the same time, no, nah, bro, we don't gotta feel guilty. Take... Take what is yours, because this is my world, technically. I mean, I will take, mm, yeah, we'll, we'll take these for aesthetic purposes. I'm not sure what, what really what we're going to use them for, but, and also, while we're in here, I know it's strange, but I have this, hold on, I have this feeling I need, first of all, two buckets. I'm not sure why I haven't made a water bucket yet. I'm sure I can put something, uh, two bones and some glistening melons. I like, I like glistening, actually, that's perfect. I want to take this lava, Okay. And then I'm going to also take some water, um, but I'm pretty sure we'll be surrounded by water just in case we get into a sticky situation, you know, where if we fall or something and we need some water, because you guys know I'm the MLG Bucket Pro, but I'm fairly certain we're going to find like, you know, some ice spikes around here. So let's run around and uh, see if we can't find a plate. There we go. See, oh yeah, there we go. The real ice spikes. Cool. Okay. So you guys remember when I first spawned in, I was like, I'd love to live in an ice spike biome. And then we, we traversed away from the ice spike biome, and then I was kind of sad. I was like, I miss the snowy area. I miss the cold. The the chill on my feet as I traverse the icy rivers of Chillandria. That looks cool. You know, I do like that. Let's see if it's let's see if it gets any more intense over here in this direction. Nope. Nope, it doesn't. That looks like plains biome, actually. You know, I, I'm digging the isolated, I'm digging the isolated ice spike area. I was hoping that it would turn into a giant field of, that's a big birch tree, hoping it would turn into a giant field of ice spikes. But if we have to live in a smaller one, that's okay as well. Um, but let's see, what what is over here? That looks like a big cave we could explore. Hmm. An igloo, hold on. I know these can hold secret loot, and also these give you some, uh, a zombie villager to cure, I think. Trying to remember where where is the ladder at? If there is a ladder, it'll spawn like there is not a ladder in this one. <laughs> okay, good to know. Good. To... Ah, it's ice. Okay. Where was my? Oh, we, oh, we got to start breaking, dude. Please break faster. That's making me nervous. That was that was a little too close. That was a little too close. Okay, we're gonna have to use some cobblestone. I almost put the lava down. That probably wouldn't have helped us a whole lot. I do like this though, but I want to see if there's more ice spikes. Maybe, maybe over in this direction. Let's just check, because I'll I'll remember where this is. Like, right, this is not very far away. I do want to live in the ice spikes among them, so I'll probably live over there. Um, I like that there's a big icy field out here. 
No, it looks like another village and it turns into straight plains again. Well, let me, hmm, let me look over here. Maybe on this hill we can have a better vantage point of the surrounding area. And uh, we can see if maybe over that plains biome there's another ice bike biome. Because that is where I want to live. So I just want to, I want to be sure that I don't choose this one, which is, <laughs> it's just, it's very tiny. That's not what I was envisioning. The starting area definitely had a bigger one. Uh, but to travel back there, I'd have to travel about 7,000 blocks and like, Nah, I'm good. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Just put it that way. I'm not going to travel 7,000 blocks. No, it really does. This is like an isolated snowy area. I'm going to, I'm going to, let me, let me, let me peek around a little bit more. Hold on. All right. Well, I decided against that isolated ice spike area. Um, I kept running and I'm in a taiga, which is good. Not a taiga. What is it called? Yeah, a taiga. I wanted to do the first MLG bucket. We're not going to do a big one, but... Just to prove, you know, we still got the skills, dude. Still got the skills, dude. You know, we're, we're, we're doing fine. Yes, three in a row. Okay, that's enough. That's, that, that's pushing the boundaries of luck. You know, eventually, not that it's luck, you know, it's all skill, dude. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep traversing. I know I've said that a billion times. Well, of course, still haven't found anywhere, but I did find this incredible uh, structure. Is it a jungle? Oh, gosh, it's a jungle again. Okay. I don't know. I have bad memories in the jungle, but look at this, dude. It was just, I was up on that hill. I see this and I'm like, dude. Let's see if we can MLG bucket over to here. Yep. Cool. So it definitely looks interesting. Um, this is absolutely massive. We don't need... I thought that was diamond. <laughs> we don't need to mine yet, but like if we did, this would be the perfect area. I don't want to live in a hole. I'm, I'm uh, indifferent or not indifferent. I do not want to live in a hole. Although this is a beautiful hole, not my hole that I want to live in. So I'm going to keep traversing again. Like I said, I'll find something eventually. I just saw it. I just saw it. He's back. Whack is back! Whack is back! Whack is back! How are you doing, buddy? Where did you go? Where did you go? How? Is, so all of a sudden, you just came back out of nowhere. You had me scared, dude. I thought you were gone forever, but look, I found this big hole. This is a big old hole. This is even bigger than the other one. That's weird. But yeah, this thing is absolutely massive, dude. Look at that. It goes like trying to get wrecked by a creeper. Oh, that's just, that's terrifying. I hate it. <laughs> Honestly, I hate it. That's, uh, I love the new caves, but I hate that. That's just terrifying. But yeah, but we still haven't found the spot, but I figured I'd let you know Whack is back. Whack is back. Dude, I've seriously just been listening to Spotify for like 45 minutes and traveling. I have easily traveled like 10,000 blocks, like easily 10,000 blocks, and I see snowy peaks, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, dude, this looks awesome, right? Like I wanted something that was, that was snowy. I think I'm going to remove the water waving. Let me see if I could do that. Hold on. Okay, whatever. I turned it off, but for some reason, it still looks like it's waving. I don't know. But yeah, I found snowy peaks, and I'm thinking like, hmm, well, maybe this is it. Maybe this is going to give me the icy, chill, cool vibe. I'm going for it in the Hardcore Let's Play. You can see the thumbnails have that nice blue border, and I wanted to differentiate it. I wanted it to feel cooled down. It's like that 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 racing yellow, you know, keeps you like, you know, hyped up. That's always been my color. Um, but then I also really like the color that's on the, uh... What God's name? What? What? What am I What am I supposed to do with that? Oh! 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 What the? I'll be honest, I forgot that was a thing, but is it that deep? Whoa! Let me dive back in that. Oi! <laughs> Does it just like kill you if you're in it? Like you'd actually just like die? That seems extreme. I don't want I don't want to be in this anymore. I really don't want to be in this anymore. Okay. Okay. We okay. We gotta figure our way out of here. Jeez, dude. Jeez, dude. I thought I thought that was the end the first time. And kind of the second time too. So how do I not sink into that? How do I uh how do I prevent that? Because that was utterly terrifying. Like I'll be, oh my gosh, did that goat just bounce? Did you guys see that goat on the, the, the mountain up there just looked like it bounced? So I forgot that snow is a thing. I don't know how to prevent that. I thought since I have like maybe you need a certain kind of boot. Okay, okay, okay. Don't freeze me. <laughs> just don't freeze me. That's all I request. Um, and it looks like this won't happen yet because there's stone under this. But I was hoping maybe there's some ice spikes around here. And if there's not, you know, maybe I'll like this. I don't know. 
I know that I'm being really picky. Um, I've just played Minecraft for a long, long time, and uh, I know what I like. You know, and don't, don't, don't butt me off of the mountain and kill me, please. I would, I would really appreciate that. Might as well go check the loot since we can see it. Um, okay, okay, okay. Yes, I see. You're very snowy. Yes, you're very snowy. Good, good snow. You're very snowy. You're very spooky. Wow. Okay. Can you? Can I? Can I just? I've defeated the. If I didn't have that water bucket, I don't know what would have happened. And of course, there's no more snow over here. It's okay. We'll keep exploring. I don't mind. Like I'm not. I don't have anything. This is my recording day. I don't really have anything else to do. And I def. Oh yeah, dude. That's. That's some clutch loot. That's a really clutch loot. Okay. I will take that, of course. All right. Well, don't mind me. I'm going to keep on traveling in this direction. I'm sure I'll find something eventually. It uh, looks like it's another Spotify fest, another 45 minutes of traversing this world. Here are the coordinates I start at, and you'll see where they end at. Well, on my journey to find the place I call home, I've encountered this, which is interesting. Um, it's a very tall... Uh, like just stony area, and I was wandering around. And I see this. I see an emerald. So I was like, "That's pretty cool." So I'm pretty sure around this area, and I don't know, can there be two emeralds in a vein? I have, honestly have no idea. Um, but I feel like this is just a big, and I keep finding jungle, everything but ice spike biome. So I don't know how realistic it is for me to want to live in an ice spike biome. Maybe there. What is this called, by the way? A stone. Oh, this is Stony Peaks. Okay, and the other thing, I know there's all this iron. I know, I'm not getting iron yet. We got, we can at least get a house before we get the iron. But I will get these emeralds because we have 16 emeralds from just general lootage, and uh, it's pretty good. Not gonna lie, but it's pretty good. I am a little disappointed that we have not found a place to call home yet. It seems like I've been searching. I mean, I have been searching for like an hour and a half. Um, so that's fun. Um. Well, you know, I don't mind it necessarily. It's just I'm anxious to get on to the next part. So it's like it's holding me back. I see more emeralds. Don't don't think you're sly. Don't think you're sly hiding from me down here. Thank you, dude. What we got? 17 emeralds? Wait. I thought I just mined two. Did I not pick them up? I guess not. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea at this point. Uh, there's another little cute little village. And I like that tree over there. You see that tree right there? That's really, really cool looking. Um, Okay. Yep. All right. Just wanted to show this off. Thought it was cool. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure I just found something really cool. Again, I haven't found the place to live yet. Uh, we've traveled so many blocks. Like, I mean, we, we've we've traveled an absolute just just immeasurable. I mean, not really like ten thousand blocks. But look at this. It's like one of those giant ones. Everything good? Nope. 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 Not really. I will take the gold though, and uh, of course I'll take the gold blocks. I probably should. Should have looked for those on the other ones. I'm sure I missed them, and people were like, Neo, why, why do you never grab the gold blocks? It's like, dude, I don't know, okay? Sometimes I just miss things, okay? I'm only human. I'm only human. Please don't. Where'd you go? No, nope, gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, there we go. So now we have three gold blocks in addition to all this. Might as well just stack it out like that. We're going to go into this vast open ocean. Um, I'm just, of course, I'm just been going... I haven't really seen anything too cool. I don't know. The new 1.18 train generator is really cool when it wants to be, but otherwise it's like super boring, which I guess is either, you know, it can either be cool or boring. So who knows? But yep, onwards to victory, hopefully. Someone want to tell me what's going on right there, dude. Someone want to tell me what in the world? And then I see this because I was going to come back to show you this. But like, what on earth is that? That is the craziest piece of floating whatever I've ever seen. And also, I don't think you're supposed to be above water, buddy. I think uh, you should be... Oh, and the chest is exposed. I think I can take you guys on. Potentially. Do any of you have a trident? Oh, I feel kind of mean doing it like this. Uh, I feel a little bit mean doing it like this. Can there be tridents in their chests down here? I mean, I, I mean, I honestly, I, I just have no idea. I never really explore these things. Um... Someone did suggest that living underwater could be cool. Don't think I forgot about you in my Discord suggestions. I do remember that. Um, I just think I need to be more well-established if I want to move uh, to an underwater society. Protection 1 and coal. Okay. Nothing I'm super interested in. I'm going to get out of here before I die. I wanted to see what in the world is going on over here, though. Uh, so I've given up on trying to find an ice spike biome. I think that I'm, I think I'm being too picky. I really do. I could live on a nice beach house. I could live in a nice birch. I mean, I, there's so many things you can do. I mean, it's... Yeah, hello. No, don't take my boat. <laughs> That's my only boat. That's my only boat, guys. Uh, I don't have any fish for you. Where I'd give you some fish. Yes, you're very good. You're very good dolphins. Yes, you're very cute. Yes, you're very cute. You guys want to come up here? 
Actually, no, I don't want to beach the dolphin and, and cause it s to struggle. I don't I don't want that. Um, I would not mind living on a beach house. Um, I feel like that actually be kind of cool. Um, I like the biome behind me. I'm trying to see, is this like a little bit of an island or something? Because I don't know why. I like the isolated feel of an island, but then I live on one and I feel alone. And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, you idiot. What'd you expect? And this is quite enticing. This, uh, this thing is quite enticing. You know what? So enticing, in fact, can I start to swim in this thing? Yeah, I can. And then I can barrel my way upwards really fast. It's kind of tricky, though. And you could fall and die kind of easy. <laughs> yeah, you could fall and die from that uh, quite easily, and that would just be an absolute shame. Um, I just wanted to see what in the world is going on up here. And what is this? Is this just a, a glitchy biome generation? I mean, that's definitely what it is, but is it more? Is it more than just a glitchy biome generator? Not even glitchy, just uh, noisy. Because, you know, it uses noise maps to generate. Man, I could probably see a, a temple from up here. I mean, I don't see one, but I could see one. I don't know. That's not the beach I want to live on. If I was going to live on a beach, it would have to be more beachy. Um, that is, you know, somewhat beachy, but the the beach is not beachy enough, if that makes sense. Can I fall into this water here? You know, when I ask these questions, I should probably be 100% certain that I can before I decide to uh, jump. Yeah, that is definitely an interesting generation. I'll just put it that way. Back to the ocean. Mine did not work. Back to the ocean. All right, all right, all right, guys. I think it's time to get excited because I have found the beachiest beach that, don't run away from me, that has ever beached. Look at this beach. This is nice. You know, I like it. I think, you know, we could modify it a little bit, make it a little bit flatter, add a few little sand things here and there. And I think we can live in a beach house, guys. How cool would that be to have a nice beach mansion, a beach house mansion? Why is this so square? Why are you square? Like, what? <laughs> who, who told you you could be square, dude? This is Minecraft. Like, duh, don't be square. Uh, but yeah, we have turtles next to us, which, who loves turtles? Why did I say it like turtles? I don't know, but now you are a turtle. And uh, I don't know where Wack went. I really don't. Maybe he'll appear once again. I, I don't. Because, you know, he came back and then he disappeared and I'm just like, ah, whatever. I can't get attached. Um, but I feel like it's only symbolic that if we're going to do this, we're going to do this right, guys. We are going to craft ourselves something very special, something very near, something very dear to my heart. The diamond shovel. The diamond shovel. And uh, I would like to get the world's best thumbnail if I can right now. This is the world's best thumbnail I think I've ever taken. The beachiest beach that's ever beached. Now the problem being I have to <laughs> I need to load more chunks here so that it'll it'll look a little bit better, but give me one moment. And there we go, guys. That's where we're going to end the episode because what we're going to do tomorrow is... Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stop the chunks. I'm going to dump too much RAM into the game and then it's just going to not work. But yes, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for putting up with all this, you know, pickiness of exploration. I did finally find something I'm happy with. I've never lived on a beach, like surprisingly. I legitimately never have. It took me like, you know, two hours to, you know, explore and then another hour recording. This episode didn't take too long, but I really would appreciate the support of a like. And then if you're new to the channel, if you wouldn't mind consider subscribing, I would appreciate that as well. I will tell you that I do have a Discord server. The only reason that I'm telling you I have a Discord server is that I have a channel in there called suggestions and within that channel you can put your suggestions for the series I know it's kind of seems self-explanatory but basically you put your ideas in there and then I put them in the series if I like them you can you know do ideas for new series new maps you can do ideas for the current series that I have running on my channel it really is up to you whatever you want to suggest uh, just if you want to ensure that I will see it because there's always a chance that I don't see it if you put it in the comments just because I get so many comments. So if you want to ensure that I see a very specific idea or suggestion, put it in my Discord server. Link is in the description below. Okay. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow in episode three. I'm super hyped to terraform this bad boy and then get a beach house going. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.